Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. McFarlane Toys had some new pre-orders go up on the Target app, Target website, and it would have to do with uh, DC Multiverse and Spawn. Now they did hit a huge snag when they first launched at 6 a.m. Western, right? I was up for that. Uh, they had all the different prices every which way. Some people kind of got uh, a Spawn signed figure like me. For around 20 bucks now i'm just going to tell you right now they have since changed the prices on everything they made it all a-okay right in some sense but do not be surprised i'm not going to be surprised if they send you a little email that says hey you know what yeah we had to cancel this because we're not going to give you that for the price it's their goof i really wish they would don't, don't be disappointed if they end up canceling it anyways moving on to kind of set the stage for you this prior thursday McFarlane Toys on their Twitter account said, hey, get ready June 17th, 9 a.m. Eastern, 6 a.m. Pacific, because we got some pre-orders going up on Target. And like I said, has to do mainly with DC Multiverse. You got a little bit of Batman 66 in there, and then you have a new Spawn figure reveals. But just before we jump into all the new figures, just to let you know, this is going to go on for a couple weeks. So Friday, June 24th, we'll see Transformers to kind of coincide with the Transformers Fan First Thursday that will go up on the 23rd. Friday, July 1st, we'll see a Lego Super Mario reveal. So that's pretty cool. This one is the most interesting to me. Friday, July 8th, Stranger Things crossed over with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from Playmates Toys. Really interested to see how that's going to go. That's going to be wild. And then Friday, July 15th, Star Wars Funko. But enough about all that. Of course, you're here for some reveals and whatnot. So the first one up is a variant on the upcoming Black Adam, Batman, Noel, kind of, sort of, you know, comic book uh, page punchers series. You're going to get a page puncher in the sense of you get a comic book, you get a seven inch Batman, you get an accessory, and you get an interesting deco to him, right? It's very much the DC collectibles, black and white statues, black and white figures. So it's got a little white on the black, black on the white, a little bit of gray scale here and there. Interesting to see how this will end up looking in hand. I'll tell you right now, I didn't pre order this myself. It does look cool. But it's not really something that uh, I think I absolutely need. I might change my mind if I see it on store shelves and what's not. But uh, like I said, uh, if you want this guy, he, <laughs> the original price was like 50 when they kind of goofed the whole thing. But he is down to a normal $25. When I say normal, you know what I mean. Normal times for right now, right? Oh, man. But uh, yeah, nice packaging overall. So grab him if you need him. And then moving into the actual DC multiverse, you have Batman Dark Detective, and this is, of course, based off the Future State comic book. This is being billed as a gold label collection figure, so you can see that right in the top corner. And this one, we have had, I have looked at it, actually really liked the previous version. This is him without his trench coat. Now, some people have said, hey, you know, just save your money, and you can just pop the trench coat off. You can't, because it's a completely different arm setup and everything else. So, no, you cannot, unless you're a customizer, by all means, but uh, yeah, this is definitely a little bit different, different in the arms, different in the setup and such like that. But overall, we'll just say pretty much the same exact figure, same exact accessories, whatnot. Probably will be easier to fit on the upcoming, uh, we'll say, Future State bat bike. You know what I mean? That's uh, kind of been teased and, and leaked here and there. But uh, yeah, you know, we'll see what happens with that. Probably a lot easier to sit without the trench coat, but we will see. Same exact packaging as you expect from DC Multiverse. Again, if you need them, head over to Target and grab them now. And then this one, actually, I did pre-order. Very excited for this. More so for the Starro, but in seeing this particular character, because psh, I totally called it, right? Come on, it's a no-brainer. Obviously, they're doing Crime Syndicate. They got to do the Owl Man. So, just to be 100% clear, yes, this is Thomas Wayne Jr.'s Bruce Wayne's brother from the alternate Earth 3, so... No corrections necessary on this one, right? Wink, wink. But uh, yeah, he gets a couple pieces of the Starro. You get another Starro for the chest. I love that. And you get a pretty sweet looking owl man. I'll give it to him all day. I would have loved to have an extra head portrait just as more of like a snarling, angry owl man. You know what I mean? That kind of fits better. But look at the back of the cape. Everything looks fantastic. I'm very stoked on this. So yes, I definitely did pre-order this guy. I think he looks awesome. Again, with the crime syndicate, we have Superwoman, we have Ultraman, and now we have this owl man. Waits to see who will be figure number four. <laughs> 
it's probably going to be power ring. Who knows? But uh, yeah, pretty pretty awesome looking owl, man. I got to give it to him with the paint and everything else. Building a giant Starro, two big pieces to do all that. Again, I'm really excited. Uh, I like those little attachments for the chest. So grab Owlman if you needs them. And then this one in kind of juxtaposition to the whole uh, Dark Knight Detective Batman. This is Lex Luthor in the power suit. Now we've had two releases already. One in green, one in blue. Of course he had the dark side head right from that uh, alternate future thing that never comes to fruition. But uh, this is one that I'm going to tell you. Is one, it's a total pass from me, and two, uh, unlike the Dark Knight Detective Batman, yes, you could just get some water heated up and swap out the heads between this two. Yes, he doesn't have the cape, but you know what I mean? It, this is kind of one of those where it's like, I see what you did there. Yes, it's kind of cobble. It, it looks like a cobbled together kind of thing, so no, I'm not excited for this one at all. Yeah. That, that's really... All I got. He's still got the baby hands. Baby hands, Lex Luthor. Bald and baby hands. So, packaging, same exact deal. If you do need this one, maybe you missed out on the other ones, maybe you just like the look of this guy. Hey, you can go ahead, grab him on targets now. And then, heading over to the Batman 66. Now, this is one where I kind of looked at it and I was like, oh, they're just putting her up on pre-order. But no, when you look closer. So, the first Catwoman that came out, uh, well, about two months ago or so now... She launched with the Penguin. That was the Eartha Kit Catwoman. This is now the Julie Newmar. Now, there isn't much difference between the two, right? It's basically just swapping out the head portrait and such. So if you do need this version, hey, it's not bad. I do enjoy the Batman 66 line. I have gotten all the, the mainstays. Like, I don't go for the boxing and the, and the surfing ones right there. I would have if they had the surfboards. I'm just going to tell you that. But uh, I have been kind of... I. I'll be honest with you, I kind of like the Riddler with the boxing gloves. I think that's just kind of hilarious, right? To see Frank Gorshin, you know, rope a doping. <laughs> but then that means I'd have to get the Batman with the boxing. You know what I mean? It opens up a whole door. And I don't know if I want to go through that. So, yes, Catwoman Julie Newmar, if you need her, go and get her, darling. It's perfect, right? You got to do all that stuff. Anyways, this one for me is kind of like, oh... Uh, I actually like that. That's actually pretty cool. I'm not really a big fan of the whole Manga Spawn thing. I like the Manga Violator, of course. But uh, the new Manga Spawn, Manga Medieval Spawn. Let's put it this way. Todd McFarlane did tease this a while ago. I think we all kind of thought it was the Medieval Spawn. It technically is, but this one's pretty sweet. It comes with a lot of necroplasm weapons, like futuristic tech. I like the way this looks. Some people have compared it to, let's say, Optimus Prime, Captain America, things of that nature, which, I mean, they're not too far off. I always tell everyone, wait until you have these figures in hand or you can see them in hand because I don't think the photos always do McFarlane Toys figures justice. So we'll wait to see. Final version. I will be getting this guy. I pre-ordered him. Now, I did pre-order the normal version. I'm not going for the whole sign thing. However, I did order the sign one when it was 20 bucks and they goofed. So if they send that to me, bonus. But I, I don't have my high hopes for that. So there's two versions, the more expensive and the regular version. So you can go on targets and grab them. But I will say this, in terms of the manga and kind of changing my mind on the whole thing, I actually really like the way this guy looks, so that's actually a plus. So that's really going to wrap it up for my look at some of the brand new McFarlane Toys reveals that were on the Target app. And if I'm not mistaken, as of this video, when posting it, most, if not all of them, are still available. So if you need them, go and grab them. Don't rush. Don't freak out. These will be in stores. Just just take your time. Everything is going to be fine. So let me know which ones you guys like, which ones you don't. Do the whole spiel and shebang. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, to all the dads out there, happy Father's Day to you guys. On Sunday, if it works out, I'm just going to say, I'll have a little thing for a spot. It's not like a new figure reveal or anything else like that. But it, it's a nice Father's Day gift that I got. And I want to show it off. You spawn figure people out there. You might like it. When you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.